Tonight on CTV, a suspect is arrested in Morgan Library with a replica gun. Then we remember our former beloved mascot, Cam the Ram 24. Then sports anchors Brett Kennedy and Olivia Landis break down your CSU sports, starting now. Thank you for joining us this evening, CSU in Fort Collins. I'm Kay Bennett. And I'm Bailey Lakey. Yesterday evening, a man was arrested by CSU PD in Morgan Library for having a replica gun. The Collegian is reporting that the man was seen playing with the replica gun, not pointing it at anyone. But a Morgan Library employee called CSU PD, to which they quickly responded and apprehended the suspect. They escorted him out of the building and misdemeanor charges are pending. The suspect is not a CSU student or employee. Two Colorado State Rams tell their story of adventure, endurance, and survival in this exclusive CTV interview. We thought it was amazing when we saw this because like when you zoom in, we made it so far in the forest. Starting at 4 a.m. that Sunday morning, a hiking weekend like any other for this adventurous couple. We made it up to uh, Kit Carson Peak, no problem. Until suddenly they found themselves off the trail on the way down. It happened really quickly. We just got lost so quickly. Alexander and Sean ran into two mountain climbers who shared a route to get back. We just kind of decided to go for it. It kind of seemed like the best decision at the time. It was getting late in the day and we were running out of resources. They made it about a third of the way down the outward couloir, but trekking down steep rock covered in snow, they didn't stand a chance. Out of nowhere, the rock just gave out. Sean says he felt instantly out of control, tumbling down the snow and picking up speed. Looked back up what I had just fallen down just kind of thought, um, how am I still alive right now? Scared and unable to hear Sean. So I made it maybe another feet from where he fell. It was all ice and then I just started slipping. Alexandra made it three quarters of the way down, trying to make friction with her arms. I had these like images of like being in the kitchen and like being at home and just like all these like really simple images um, like flashed before me. And I thought, I thought that was it. Like I thought I was dying. It was terrifying. I, I thought that she was going to die. I mean, I, seeing her go down so quickly like that, and then I saw her hit rocks and bounce up in the air and, and hit her head and do some somersaults. And, and The next thing I saw was him on his phone, and he was, like, reaching out and, like, <clears throat> touching my face because I had all this blood, like, pouring down my face. The couple couldn't believe that they had made it. The sheer luck of both of us surviving that fall in a row. They called for help but didn't know if help would come. So they kept going to find shelter, cold and walking in the dark, knowing they were about six miles away from their car. And at this point, too, I looked at my arms and I knew both were broken. The hike down was a little rough having two broken arms, but it wasn't going to stop me. It's like, I'm going to make my way out of here somehow. Three hours of hiking later, they were finally rescued by Flight for Life. It was intense, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, when the helicopter, like, landed, too, I just... I couldn't help but cry because I was so relieved. The adventure was finally over. We definitely had a moment where, I don't know, we were just, we were so happy to have one another, like in that situation. Yeah, we're feeling yeah, a lot better. <laughs> By sharing their story, they want to heed warning to other hikers. You have to study the routes online and study, like, l listen to what other people are saying online. Do plenty of research before you go out hiking, you know, it's really important to read what other people are saying. Along with bringing a GPS, paying attention to the ascending route by leaving markers and preparing to spend the night. That's something that a lot of people don't really think about. After only a week after the accident, Alexandra and Sean, both recovering with the support of friends and family, keep their spirits high. Probably like the greatest hike I've ever done. Alexander mentioned that one good marker to leave as they were going up, it's called a kiern, like when you stack rocks up so that when you're heading down, you actually know your out route to get back. That's unbelievable and just what they went through, it's incredible. Their story. Oh. Well, everyone here at CTV wishes Alexandra and Sean a speedy recovery. Last weekend, CSU lost a symbol and icon. The beloved CSU mascot, Cam the Ram, died this past Saturday at 10.30 a.m. from natural causes the morning of the Rocky Mountain Showdown. We had, had, we had had him checked out and he had seemed fine and morning came, they called the vet out and he just simply 
passed away, nothing the vet could do or anything. Cam, who was 60 years old, had been on rest the whole week leading up to the big football game against CU. She had been sick on and off for the last week, which is why we had him on rest, but he had gone to the vet and the vet really didn't find anything wrong with him. So it was just a simple matter of old age and the things that come along with old age. Most students did not realize that Cam had passed away until later after the game on Saturday night. We found out at the game and we were just so sad. I was beside myself, like horrible timing for him to die the day of the showdown. Cam 24 will be replaced by his six month old half brother, Cam 25. Cam 25, we'd already started working with him. He'd already come to a couple events and he seems to have a lot of potential and he already has uh, an attitude, a good one. He is, he's spunky. So, I mean, luckily we ended up, it's an unfortunate situation, but luckily we have a very promising candidate already had, who had already started getting training. Despite the loss of CAM 24, the CSU community seemed enthusiastic to welcome CAM 25 with open arms. He's adorable. He's so cute. It's yeah. a little. CAM 25 will make his official debut at the October 10th football game against Boise State. He's so cute. I know. Well, when we come back, Madison Sloan will give you your weekly dose of weather. Stay tuned.